Vermont Motor Vehicles offices across Vermont reopened today after a week of upgrades officials say were long overdue. Now a new system in place that should exp improve the customer experience. And as NBC5's Amanda Martin Ryan tells us, it's only going to be a matter of time for drivers to see why the closure was worth it. Amanda? To Alice, the main major change customers will be seeing starting today is a shorter transaction time at the DMV, and it's a start to finish transaction. So instead of having to check your mailbox for your titles, registration, and plates, you'll be able to walk out of the DMV with them in your hands. It's been very enlightening seeing how far behind the times we were. Before the DMV's rollout of this new digitalized system, everything was done through documents and filing, a painstaking and time-consuming process for employees like Patrick Pipitone. I don't really have to go through and rate all of our paperwork as we did previously, so I'm able to zip through this pretty well. The new system up and running after 18 months converting everything from paper to computer. An upgrade for both employees and customers, which Pivotone's already seeing on the first official day of the system rollout. It was great to see that their first question was, you don't need to go upstairs, you don't need to search through any filing cabinets. It was just, here's everything you've asked for in a timely manner. DMV Commissioner Wanda Minoli explaining the transition has been a goal of the state for years, but the means to do so has been absent until now. It was difficult as a commissioner to say, we really can't do that. We don't have the capacity to do it. 50 years of vehicle data now stored in a mainframe system, what Minoli calls an investment in the state's IT infrastructure. That investment already paying off. In just hours, more than 600 transactions were able to be done online. That's 633 online transactions, which is now live real data, on the 633 people that don't need to make an appointment. It's a feeling of accomplishment and relief for Pipitone. As someone said, it's that proud papa moment where I get to see people playing in the sandbox I helped build and making beautiful castles. This is just phase two of the DMV going digital. Phase three is set to begin next spring and we'll get all information and data on drivers' licenses onto the database. Live in Montpelier, Amanda Martin-Ryan, NBC5 News.